In today's video, I have six tips for being productive when life is perfectly imperfect. Let me know what you think and if you resonate with any of the following. So I'm about to record the voiceover portion for today's video, which is a little bit like inception because I'm literally recording the video that you're watching currently. My first tip is to write it down. With two small kids under four, it's a miracle to get anything done aside from the basics. I'm trying to be watchful of my to-do list as I can quickly grow, putting more pressure on myself that ironically enough, I have self-inflicted. Oftentimes, simply writing something down can free up your mental capacity. I know bullet journaling is so popular nowadays and there are so many videos on how to make an aesthetically pleasing bullet journal complete with stickers, specific pens, and font styles, but I do not have the patience for that at the moment. The next thing I want to bring up is that life is a balancing act. I'm also trying to be conscious of how many projects I put onto my plate. Generally, I have six to eight videos pending that either need to be outlined, filmed, or edited. Currently, it's 9 a.m. in the morning. I have been up for four hours, so I hope I don't feel or sound too tired in the videos. I do have a bunch of scripts laid out on the table because while I'm at it, I'm gonna to try to film a bunch of videos. I do have my ring light set up right here as well as my camera. Just ignore the messy background with all of the kids' toys. I love how I can control how little or how much I work and within reason, I can set my own deadlines as well. Lately, I've been trying to implement a clip-on mic. This is quite simple to use. Obviously, you just attach this portion onto your shirt right here and you clip the receiver onto your clothes. And it's actually good because you can stand further back in your videos without having to stand so close to the camera. You can show more of the product and you still get a really good sound quality. Right now, my husband has our kids at our in-laws house, so I'm able to do a little bit of filming. As my YouTube channel has quite a focus on fitness, this next bullet point is not much a surprise. Don't think, just work out. Often, the anticipation, or sometimes dread, of a future workout can be draining in itself and also hype you up in a negative way to talk and reason yourself out of it. If you have even five to 10 minutes, rather than spending that time in your head, what if you just force yourself into a quick workout? If I have enough bandwidth, I like to try and fit in a workout at home while the kids are awake. It's important to set your expectations for this or else you'll be scratching your head and frustrated why you can't do it perfectly. Face me now. <laughs> now release all the way down with my elbows. They're not all the way out. No, I'm sorry. I promise. 790 is correct. Anywhere from a 20 to a 30. The next tip is to remain present. How often do you get caught up in the habit of working on a task, but at the same time thinking about what you're going to do next? I try as hard as I can to remain present and take life in small bites. This doesn't mean forego all planning and just go wherever the wind takes you, but try to be mindful and remain in the moment in your daily tasks. Within reason, I try to not rush in my daily life. It's okay to slow down and quote, smell the roses. This brings me to some new hair care products that literally smells like figs and coconut. So I just received this package from Coco and Eve in the mail. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing and first impression. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It has their graphic on the front. Everything is wrapped with this pink tissue paper and it's really nice that they have these little bags separating the products. So first we have a towel wrap. We also have a self tan mitt and a little flat handheld brush. So here we have the Super Nourishing Coconut and Fig Hair Mask. This is what the product looks like. It's quite thick and right off the bat, it does smell exactly as titled Coconut and Fig. It reminds me of the scent from Bath and Body Works. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is the Miracle Hair Elixir. We're supposed to apply this to damp or dry hair. Both of these products are inspired by Bali, so they have a heavy coconut scent. So if you love coconut, I'm sure you'll enjoy these scents. These products are cruelty-free as well as vegan. Lately, I've been trying to embrace the mentality of it's okay to not be perfect, AKA not striving for perfectionism. Honestly, I think I can get to the best of us. There's nothing wrong with not trying your best, 
but if you take it too far and are consistently quote missing the mark in your head or quote still not good enough after already trying your best, that's a surefire path to dissatisfaction. This also brings me to the point that organization does not have to be perfect. Recently, I got these really pretty acrylic rose gold organizing containers on Amazon. Here's one that I think would look so nice with makeup brushes, and here you could put like jewelry or other small pieces in it. I love how they have this beautiful reflective sheen on it, and the plastic feels quite sturdy as well. So here's an example of what you could do with these organizers. Here I have some makeup brushes as well as commonly used items. Here I do have some jewelry nicely displayed. I do think it's really beautiful. I'm not sure if I would actually keep it like this because I do have two young kids, but here's an idea of what you could do. I have my gold jewelry on this side, some silver pieces on the other. The last tip may seem self-explanatory, but it's often overlooked. How often is it that once we accomplish something, we think, great, got that out of the way, now onto the next thing, and we don't really celebrate a victory no matter how incidental it may be? As you guessed it, that's another surefire way to feel that what you do is never enough and you will always be wanting more and more and you know how that story continues. So instead, refocus your energy and remind yourself it's the small things. In conclusion, I hope this video was motivating and if anything, this is encouragement for myself as well. Just remind yourself, you made it through 2020 and yes, it's cheesy that hindsight is 2020, but honestly, that year gave us all a newfound perspective on life, whether we were looking for it or not. I can't be the only one who found that to be the case. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you like content like this and comment down below. What do you do to stay motivated? What are you trying differently this year as opposed to the last? I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.